Yeah, I'm in legal limbo. I'm being, being held by a militia. And even the Americans told me, they said, um, yeah, that's what they said. They said, you're being held here by them, but um, you're going to go back home. That's where they're going to prosecute you. You can't be prosecuted here. There's no legal grounds here. Well, I should not be able to go home. I've done nothing in Canada. Um, I've broken no laws there at all. Yeah, I came here, but that was for the Syrian people. And I mean, I grew up in Canada. All my family is there, my friends, all my memories of Canada. I have nowhere else to go. Um, that's my home. Um, if they want to prosecute me, fine, prosecute me. But I mean, how can they just leave me here sitting like this in limbo? I mean, I guess there's a lot of bad blood between the foreigners and, uh, and the Iraqis now, or the Syrians. Um, the foreigners feel like they have been, um, like I said, left out, hung to dry. Um, they have been used and abused, and now um, the trust is not there at all between the foreigners and the locals. The foreigners are trying to leave, try and get back home, but a lot of the Syrians and the Iraqis, um, they're just melting back into the population, holding down for a while, and when things start again, they'll rise back up. I mean, uh, this is what they did before in Iraq. This is what they're going to do again. I mean, this is a, uh, doesn't really take a genius to figure this out. I mean, they have pockets in the desert. They've got people intermingling with the population, acting as civilians, just biding their time. Smuggler? Yeah, it's uh, very dangerous. Any foreigner that tries to leave, if he gets caught, um, he's going to get a bullet to the back of his head. Um, and yeah, you need a smuggler to leave. No, I never intentionally killed anyone or shot anyone. I mean, uh, that's not why I came here. I mean, there was times we were given orders to shoot at civilians. Um, no, I mean, I never followed any of those orders.